You know, one of the perks to being a Porsche club member is that no matter where I'm at, I always feel like I'm gonna have access to that community. And that's a nice comforting feeling because you know that if you really need something, there's gonna be a family member there to help you out. And 70 plus years of, of Porsche clubs globally, it's a pretty big deal. I don't think there's any other brand out there that has anything like it. First time I'd ever got behind the steering wheel of a Porsche in the driver's seat happened in a pretty spectacular way. I always made it a point to go to the Portland International Auto Show. 1996, 1997 was kind of the build up to the Porsche Boxster, which is the first brand new model from Porsche in I don't even know how many years. It was mid-engine, it kind of would throw back to the early Porsches, like early, early Porsches, the 550 Spiders, the things like that James Dean was driving, like those kind of cars. My girlfriend's dad bought a raffle ticket for a Porsche Boxster. It's lapis blue, Savannah beige interior. A few weeks later, gets the phone call. We won it. He tossed me the keys and he said, you wanna go for a drive? My head about exploded as a 17 year old. Drive down the long driveway and get on the local back road is farmland, able to cut through some really, really great corners. I'll tell you that car handled like it was on rails. Before he even won the car, I had been saving up all of these articles. I'd save all the magazines. I decided that I would give him all that information so he could gain all the knowledge about the Boxster like I did. It never really dawned on me that 20 plus years later, I'm cruising Craigslist. It's the same car. I own the very first Porsche that I drove. Early on in my life, road tripping has always been an aspect of what we do. Like my family, we were always about Sunday drives. And that was in a 1985 turbo diesel Jetta. There's gotta be something from that upbringing that has trickled down into my current life where all I wanna do is log miles. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Like I'm excited to put eight hours on asphalt or gravel or dirt or whatever it might be behind me. Like I'm excited to run those miles. I'm excited to put those miles in. It's, it's, it's epic. I'm moving on and on. I think there's a few brands out there that kind of have this draw of you're part of this club, you're part of this crew, you're part of this brand. Becoming an associate member was a pretty cool experience, but what I didn't realize at the time is it wasn't just about having the card that said you were a part of this club, it was really about the community that was tied into the brand. Because these are real people that want to go out and drive. They want to log these miles. They want to carve up these ribbons of asphalt or dirt or whatever, gravel or whatever it might be, see epic things, and then have like the relationship and the fun and the friendships that come behind that. So I did everything that I possibly could to always keep a Porsche in my life just so I could be part of that community. And it's made all the difference. <laughs> 